Yesterday, the Royal BC Museum welcomed the public, socially distanced, of course, to one of its biggest, most ambitious touring exhibitions ever. Veronica Cooper takes us behind the scenes of Orcas, our shared future. So this is Scarlett, the infant, and her mother, Slick. And Scarlett, interestingly, was called Scarlett because she's got scars on her body because when she was born, she had difficulty uh, coming out and other whales actually pulled her out with their teeth. If it looks a little chaotic, it's because this sneak peek at the Royal BC Museum's magnificent new exhibition was shot in February. This is our biggest, most ambitious touring exhibition that the museum's undertaken in decades. It's 10,000 square feet. It features 10 film presentations, over seven different interactives and hands-on learning opportunities, over a hundred artifacts, and some really spectacular specimens and artworks. And the big reveal, of course, is our incredible a family of life-size orcas. Five years in the making, detailed planning went into Orcas, Our Shared Future. It's going to be our most accessible exhibition ever. We've had great success with sort of forays into Braille before, so this exhibition we've gone fully out and all the main exhibition panels are going to be available in Braille and all the multimedia presentations will be closed captioned as well. The big mail here is J1 Ruffles. These models are of actual southern resident orcas. And one of the most remarkable things about this, besides the biological accuracy of the specimen, is that it is actually 3D printed. The, the company built an aluminum framework similar to a, an aircraft framework and then printed a series of panels from a digital model. The exhibition department created both a human and an orca brain that visitors can touch. So you can do an anatomical comparison of a human brain and an orca brain. The skeleton of Rhapsody, J32, and her unborn calf can't help but move any visitor to this incredible exhibition. Well, Rhapsody is a, uh, an orca that, that died a few years ago uh, with a fetus in her. Because it's a research specimen, we could not drill or impact the bones in any way to mount it. So we had to create a mount that holds every one of these individual bones without any glues, adhesive screws, anything like that. No impacts at all to the skeleton. Orcas, Our Shared Future opens Friday, April 16th. It's going to be here until January of 2022. And then we're working with a touring exhibition firm from Austria, actually called Museums Partners, and they're going to take it on the road. We have a lot of interest from uh, museums in the States and as far away as Australia and New Zealand. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.